Welcome back. When the field your team plays on is named in your behalf, that's when you've let, made a lasting impact on your program. Phil Pinsons is synonymous with Brown women's soccer. The Winsocket native took over the program in 1977 after graduating from Rick. 39 years later, he's finally hanging them up. JP Smallins has this week's hometown hero. <laughs> His 323 wins have led to 12 Ivy League titles and six NCAA appearances. Brown head soccer coach Phil Pinsons leading the Bears since 1977, a 39-year run that will come to a close this week. A lot of things went into it. I mean, I knew it was going to come to an end at one point. My wife kept asking me, my wife Janet kept asking me, uh, when are you going to know? And I said, uh, I'm going to know. I'm going to know when it's time. And uh, there came a point where I just said, uh, I know it's time. Uh, the program is in great shape, and I've used the analogy that uh, the kitchen looks good. It's got some new appliances, it's well stocked, and I think the new coach will be pleased with what's left. The secrets to the Woonsocket native success present both at the beginning and end of his coaching journey. I had him as a club coach for four years, and now I've had the opportunity to come here for four years for him. and. It's just like the dedication and the passion that he brings for the game is just so key in allowing him to really succeed. And I think that he's helped teams over the years like really succeed and he's pushed teams to however hard that they can work. And I think he's really done that with us and gotten a lot of like work ethic out of us because of that. While he's stepping away from the Bears sidelines, Coach Pinsons is not leaving the Brown family. He'll join the administration as an assistant to athletic director Jack Hayes. And though he may not take another college job, some of his players aren't convinced that Saturday's road game at Yale will be his final match. I can't wait for that new uh, position uh, working under Jack Hayes. I think he's done a great job. He's been uh, great with me. And and I'm really excited about uh, the vision that he has for Brown Athletics moving forward. I'm sure he's going to find ways to coach more. <laughs> um, I don't believe he's going to stop coaching um, because he loves it and he definitely has a huge passion for it and he's wonderful at it. So I don't doubt that he's going to start coming up with some other way to start coaching a, a different, different group of girls. With your Cardi's hometown sports hero, I'm JP Smallins.